Hello, I'm Brad Pierce. Hi, I'm Stuart Oldmeadow, and welcome to another Market Update. Of course, 2016, seen some major decisions made worldwide, and of course in, the, in Australia, we've had Brexit, we've had school holidays, but of course we've had the election, of which now we have a, a path going forward. Vendors always worry when there is a little bit of change, and the one thing we can certainly say, there is far more buyers than sellers when we're talking here in the city of Banyul. Results over the last few weekends have been incredibly strong, most with multiple bidders, four and five parties bidding and competing on the majority of our properties. And if we look at the open for inspections over the last couple of weekends in particular, there is certainly a lot of foot traffic. Buyers are out in force and they're looking for those elusive homes. So the market is certainly good in the, in the city of Banyul, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, and I think they've just certainly been starved of opportunity. So if you are thinking of putting your home on the market this spring, now's the time to be looking to do it. You really do need to plan ahead and hopefully maybe just beat that spring rush as well. Of course, we'll hand you now over to the property management department from, with Cindy Aness and Sue Bedgood. Thanks, Brad. Well, winter generally brings with it a little less activity, but there's no doubt it's a tenants market at the moment, especially when it comes to apartments and units. Tenants can basically have a choice as we continue to see new stock hitting the internet in areas like Heidelberg and Ivanhoe. Conversely, family homes are at a shortage, but once they hit the internet, we're seeing a good amount of inquiry online, as well as strong attendance at our opens. For the quarter end of 30th of June, we leased out 191 properties, of which 62 were houses and 129 were units, townhouses and apartments. We also had an amazing success with our vacancy rate, achieving 1.7% vacancy compared to the Melbourne average of 2.7, so it was an outstanding result. And as the market leaders with over 2,000 properties, our team is achieving outstanding results with two properties in rental arrears over seven days, so that's certainly something to be proud of. Thanks for your time and we hope you've enjoyed our Miles Market Update.